Okay, guys, <laughs> welcome to the world again. Um, so I literally just recorded this and then I opened it up to make sure that everything recorded properly, transferred properly, the file saved properly, and I discovered I had no audio because I was muted. So, uh, we're doing it again. Um, I apologize if I apologize for repeating myself because I feel like I am repeating myself because I literally just told you guys all of this, but you heard none of it. So <laughs> I need to go through and redo it. So bear with me here. Um, also, I apologize. I did notice the last time I started talking a little quickly. If I catch myself, I will slow myself down. I apologize. But uh, let's go ahead and jump into the meat and potatoes. Um, to quote Emperor Cusco from Kronk's New Groove, not Cusco's New Groove, Kronk's New Groove. Go ahead and relax. Grab your popcorn. Take a little sippy sippy of sip stuff. I'm going to take a little sippy sip of my sip stuff. Um and enjoy. So have fun watching me fluster myself. Um, so this is a life update. You guys are going to be seeing this on June 1st, uh, which is actually tomorrow. I'm recording it on May 31st. It's been just about a month since I recorded the last one. I recorded my last life update on May 6th. You guys saw it on May 15th um, because back then I was scheduled out. Like I had recorded and scheduled and recorded and scheduled and I was scheduled out. Um, and I was really fortunate that I had done that because life happened. Um, and speaking of life happened, the whole point of the life update is because a lot's happened since I recorded that and since you guys saw it. Um, and so I kind of wanted to update you guys on what's going on, what's going on, like what's going on with me, what's going on with my platform, what's going on with like around my household in general, um, things like that. One of the first things that's going on is I want to kind of approach and uh, maybe nurture a little bit the more lifestyle side of my channel. Um, I always knew that I wanted to do a little bit of this, like vlogging and whatnot, to kind of let you guys know what's going on with my life, but I want to kind of like approach that a little bit more. Um, I don't know how frequently I'll be doing the videos, um, but I do want to start doing like life updates or um, things like that in regards to videos and whatnot. Um, this one, again, you guys are going to be seeing tomorrow on June 6th because, well, to be perfectly frank, there's been a whole lot going on and I'm really lucky I was recorded out as far as I was recorded out because life happened. Um, one of the things that happened is I got ill. I didn't get like super ill. I didn't have COVID or anything scary like that. Um, basically... Um, as some of my followers who are, who know me personally and who are like family of mine, um, or are family of mine know I have and have had for many years recurring health issues. Um, and I also have an issue that I've been dealing with since, a, a new issue that I've been dealing with since about last fall. Um, and it had, ki we have kind of had to put it on the back burner because all of the doctors and whatnot, um, non-essential doctors closed. And so the doctor that was helping me deal with this was closed. They are opening back up. I do see them on Tuesday uh, to hopefully get like a resolution or at least some more info on this. I'm doing okay. Um, it's just I got a little ill. I had to take a couple of days rest. I kind of overdid myself um, and things like that. And so we're just kind of having to start back up and start up slowly. Um, Again, I'm doing okay. Hopefully I'll know more on Tuesday. I'm sure that they're going to tell me I'm fine. I'm sure they're probably going to say everything's fine or they're going to have hopefully a solution or at least a start of a solution to solve the problem. Um, I don't like sharing that side of my life with you but guys because the whole point of me doing this was one, to be fun, to kind of keep my spirits up and to hopefully help you guys keep your spirits up. Um, if you guys do want to like be clued in on that, let me know. The only reason I'm telling you today is to kind of explain why the videos aren't continuously being recorded out. Um, I was in the 100 days of makeup. I did kind of fall out of that again because I got ill and because things started happening. Um, I do plan on like restarting that back up. Again, I'm starting up slowly. So I may not start up this week. I might not start up next week, but I do want to restart that 100 days of makeup challenge. Um, it won't all be like super, super out there looks, like the Disney inspired looks. Those were quite a few of the looks I did, but these won't all be those. There will probably be more like makeup product try hauls, hopefully, um, things like that. They will be like just day to day looks like today. Um, it, it's going to be like a mix of everything is my goal with the 100 days of makeup. Um, 
Another reason things got kind of put on a hold or my recording got put on hold is because my family, my husband, my brother, and I, um, we had to do some spring cleaning. Um, one, because we're coming into spring and my house is starting to drive me nuts. And two, because as I mentioned in my last video, um, kind of again, a little synopsis was, well, kind of a little synopsis was I got my hair dyed. I still have my hair dyed. Um, and we had decided, my husband and I decided um, a while back actually that we were ready to add like a little furry four-legged um, puppy to our family unit pack thing. Um, and so we had kind of started looking and we had thought we had found one um, and then things happened, life happened that ended up not happening. I let you guys know that in the last update. If you want more details, I'll go ahead and link it up here somewhere. It'll be the little I. Um, and it'll take you to that video. But in regards to that, we didn't stop looking. We kept looking for a puppy. Um, and we actually found another family whose puppies were planning on having puppies and the puppies were due Memorial Day weekend. I have a hair on my face. Somewhere. I think I got it. Feels like I got it. Um, but we didn't want to like make that public just because we wanted to make sure that the everything went smoothly, wanted to make sure that the mama was doing okay, that the babies were doing okay, and as I've been calling it with my friends, pup date, the babies are doing wonderfully. They were born last Friday about 8.30 in the evening. They are adorable. There were five girls and four boys. We want one of the little girls. We have our heart set on one and we're hoping that she will love us as much as we already love her. And we haven't even met her yet. Um, and so we are very excited about that. And so in finding out that and finding out that, you know, that was going well, um, we'd been ordering stuff since well before the first puppy, um, like fallout thing happened. Basically when we decided we wanted a puppy, we started, um, pretty much prepping for a puppy and getting the things that we knew we were going to need. And so I started having stuff arrive because with the virus and everything, a lot of places were closed. And so we were ordering a lot of the stuff online. We order stuff online regardless, but it got to the point that there was a tower, like where my lamp is, there was a tire, right? A tower right there next to it. And it got so tall that it was taller than my husband and I called it puppy tower. Um, <laughs> and so we decided that the, one, the tower was bugging me. The boxes were bugging me. I needed it like handled and put away and things like that. Um, things came early. We honestly, most of the things that we expected ship date, they were, we were going to get them in June. Um, so a lot of the stuff arrived early, which was awesome. And so we were like, well, let's open it. And so we did an unboxing and a re we recorded that unboxing and I plan on posting that unboxing here on Friday, uh, June 5th. Um, and so we'll kind of, you'll get to see that, um, that it's a lot of the stuff that it's, it's, it's needed stuff. It's some unneeded stuff. Well, some, what un some people consider unneeded, but things that we consider needed. Um, it was stuff not just for the puppy, but for the cat as well. Um, we got like their water thing. Uh, you'll, you'll see all of the products in the unboxing. Um, kind of a my brain just froze, but I just wanted to kind of preface that with, it was not like a mass buy. It was not all bought at once. It was just kind of like, as it goes. And so we unboxed that, we recorded it and we're going to put that on the channel on Friday. I'm actually going to edit it tonight. Um, and so stay tuned for more pup dates. Cause that's definitely one of the things I will be updating you on because while the puppy, when she gets here is going to be probably in quite a few of my videos. Um, again, because I am wanting to do more of the lifestyle you'll get updates on how she's growing and um, how she's doing like developmentally. I am, I am going to reach out to the mama of the pup mama and ask if she would be okay if we put pictures like of the little girl that we love. Um, if I could put pictures of them on like Instagram or Twitter or things like that, um, possibly on my Facebook page. I'm not sure where yet, um, but I'm going to ask if that's an option uh, just because I do want to get her permission for doing so because I don't want to like step on any toes. Um, so <laughs> we've been puppy prepping, uh, puppy prep to include, like I I've been told that having a puppy in the house is a lot like having a baby in the house. I can't attest to the, uh, 
accuracy of that statement because I've never had a baby in the house. Um, I have had puppies. It's been many, many, many years since I've had a puppy in the house. But I do remember they get into things. They're curious. They're inquisitive. And so we've been like puppy proofing. Uh, for example, we have two cabinets in our house that contain chemicals. Uh, most of my lower cabinets are actually located in my kitchen and they have things like cookie sheets and sauce pots and things like that and I'm not too concerned if she gets into those. However, I do have two cupboards that have chemicals and I am concerned if she gets into those so we went ahead and like baby locked those two cabinets together. Um, and so she can't get into those. We will also be getting a baby gate. Uh, some of the things we have not yet gotten that we will update you later when we do get are things like her collar because we want to make sure it's going to fit her. We have not gotten her tags because we haven't decided on a name yet. We have a whole list that we're going down um, and kind of a bit more on the lifestyle side. My husband and I will be doing like a sit down um, and like chat between the two of us and chat with you guys like about what's going on, um, names that we've got going on, uh, up, uh, kind of just updates in general. That will probably be at like the four week mark. Um, when the pup date goes up, like the unboxing, that'll go up when they are about two weeks old. They are one week old, well, just a little over one week old now. And so our next update's going to go up when they are two weeks old. Or shortly after. Um, I Because I post, a, post on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, um, I'm not quite sure when I want to have my life updates just yet, but again, my life art updates aren't the only part of the lifestyle that I want to explore. I want to do more like product trials. Um, I want to do like, for example, I bought a couple of swimsuits um, and I kind of like, after I've had a chance to like test them out, it's been really stormy, so I haven't had a chance to like wear them and test them. Um, I want to kind of let you guys know how I feel about them. Uh, they are Walmart swimsuits. I didn't think I'd ever get a swimsuit from Walmart that would fit my um, measurements because I'm very large busted. It runs in my family. Uh, leave the comments to yourself. I'd, please no negativity. Um, but so I would like, I will probably like update you guys on that a little bit later. If there's some brands that maybe you want me to try out, you know, let me know and I will see what I can do. Um, but like on the other note, in regards to like the recording of the pup dates and things like that and in regards to recording in general uh something else that my husband and I discovered that I'm actually kind of really excited about um is that I've been into photography for for years and years and years and one of the things that I got myself years ago and mind you a lot of my photography that I used to do was like outside photography um with like natural lighting and like trails and trees and animals and things like that um, and so I got this Canon PowerShot ELF 160 camera, um, and I've had it for forever. It's an HD camera. I used to just use it for like pictures and stuff, and I didn't even realize that you could record on it. Um, but we've discovered that I can record on this and I don't need a separate mic. Um, and so this is actually what we use to record the unboxing of the puppy stuff. Um, and I want to start trying to use this a little bit more. And so don't be surprised if you see like my makeup videos move somewhere um, because I want to be testing out how well this camera works. Um, on that note, I am also looking into getting like a ring light or camera stand type thing. I'm hoping to get like a combination one. I am doing research on it though um, to make sure I get a good one so that I can use this and record in places other than here. I will still do some recording at the computer and in regards to when I'm recording at the computer we are also looking into getting a microphone because I am aware and I do apologize this was brought to my attention just, uh, not too long ago that the audio on these is not very good it's like really really soft and I don't know about you guys um, I thought maybe it was just my computer because I have to turn my computer like up to max volume to hear myself. Um, and it was brought up to me that it's not just my computer, it, it's it's everywhere. And I am so sorry about that. Um, and so my husband and I are actually kind of researching microphones because he streams off of this computer. Neither of us realized the audio was that bad. And so with finding out that the audio is that bad, we are working on trying to improve it for you guys so that the videos have a better quality. Um, because yes, I am doing this for myself and for fun. I like it. It's a hobby, but I want you guys to be able to enjoy the videos too. And I feel like you probably can't hear anything 
if you can't hear it, it's not that enjoyable. Um, another note, um, as I mentioned, I do want to get back into the 100 Days of Makeup Challenge, so on to the, like, makeup thing, is... <sighs> My brain just froze temporarily. Oh, yes. Uh, in regards to the Disney-inspired, um, we've done majority of the characters from Alice in Wonderland of the 1951 version. The final look that we will be doing is going to be the March hair. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to post that as Wednesday's video or if I'm going to post that next week, but he will be the final look from the 1951 Alice in Wonderland. Um, after that, we are going to move on to the old Cinderella that was came, that came out right about the same time. I don't know the exact year. Um, I apologize. I've said the 1951 Alice in Wonderland so many times that it's just kind of like stuck in my head. Um, but we're going to be doing the animated Cinderella from right around that time because it was one of the ones that was suggested when I asked for feedback. Um, and in regards to asking for feedback, yes, I realize I'm jumping around. I apologize. Um, again, please note that I do schedule my videos out. Um, and so if you comment, I will try to get to you. Um, I am currently trying to like interact with each comment. Um, and as long as I am, you know, while I am small and I might, you know, you never know, I might only get to a reasonable level where I can interact with everybody. I'm trying. If I get so big that I can't, like, interact with everybody or things like that, um, I, I, I still try. I still read them all, you guys. Um, and I do interact a whole lot more on, like, Facebook and Instagram and things like that. Um, and I am trying to be more active on those. I did figure out how to connect my Instagram and my Facebook and my Twitter all together so I can post on one and it goes to all of them. I've not yet discovered how to do that on YouTube. And to be perfectly frank, I don't think I want to post to YouTube every day, you guys, because I don't know about you, but one of my biggest pet peeves is when the notifications on my phone won't stop going off and I don't want to be the one to like make your guys' phones go nuts. Uh, phones or computers or emails or what have you. I absolutely love when you guys, you know, like and subscribe and comment and share me with your friends. That's, that's amazing. I'm so happy that, you know, I was able to, th that you like me, that you like hanging out and that you want to share me. I would love for you guys to share me with your friends. Um, but I don't want to like spam you guys with notifications of like pictures and updates and things like that. I mean, I might do that more as I grow, but I'm, I'm still relatively small, I'm still relatively new, and I'm still learning. Um, and so please have some patience with me through that. Um, but on that note, um, I do post to YouTube Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I am trying to do at least one post on the rest of my things, at least one a day. Um, sometimes it's more like today I posted to Instagram twice, yesterday I only posted once. Um, it kind of depends on what I'm doing, what my day looks like. Um, if you guys want to know, like, more about, like, what my day looks like, let me know. Um, a lot, you get a lot more of a look into my daily life on my Instagram. Um, just because, like, for example, today I posted when I was done with my live stream this morning. Um, or, like, when, right after I got my pool, I posted that I was chilling in my pool. Um, because it was like super sunny, sunny and super warm, which is one of the things that it can affect my health. Um, and so we got like just a little blow up pool and I was hanging out in it and I posted, cool, I'm hanging out in my pool. Um, you know, fun thing like that. And so I put that on Instagram. And of course, after I put up that on Instagram, that is when I discovered how to connect my Instagram to my Facebook and my Twitter so that when I post in one place, it goes to all of the places. Which makes life like a little bit easier because you only have to worry about getting one post out as opposed to cross posting across all of them. You can do it once and it goes everywhere. And I love that. I'm really happy that I learned that. Um, let's see, what else is there? I've talked to you guys about the puppy coming. Um, I've talked to you guys about looking into the new equipment. I've talked to you guys about the makeup and the going into, oh yes, there is an unready coming. I'm just not yet sure how I want to record it. Um, I'm trying to think of the best way to record it without damaging my camera and or my phone. Um, like, yes, I could just sit here with a bowl of water and do my skin routine in front of this camera, but that's not how I want to do it. That's not, it, it's, I don't. It's just not how I like it. So I'm not sure how I want to do it just yet, but it, there will be like a get unready with me or like a ready for Betty with me 
um, at some point, like Betty is in B-E-D-D-Y, not B-E-T-T-Y, um, something like that coming soon. I'm just kind of working out the details of how I want to do it. Um, and so stay tuned for that. Um, again, also stay tuned for all of the puppy updates. I have no clue what I'm posting Wednesday. Uh, the unboxing will be Friday. Um, I might post a poll on Instagram to kind of see what you guys think might be fun to view. Um, I am also hoping, I don't know if I'm going to like record twice a day or if I'm going to record every day or how I want to go about doing that so that I can get myself another good little cushion going because I feel like it's better to have a cushion so that, you know, if life happens, you guys still get the content because yes, this is a hobby and I am doing this for me, but I'm also doing this a little bit for you guys. I want to like improve your day. Um, or, you know, give you something to laugh at, or, you know, if you find my makeup looks interesting, you know, give you something pretty to look at. And for me, the best way to do that is to keep myself on a schedule. And I have been doing a whole lot better um, with schedules and with my life in general, keeping myself scheduled. I've started a new schedule. I get up between 7 and 7.30 every morning now. Um, for example, this morning I got up and I started my day where I went for a nice long walk and then I went live. Um, I will also probably be doing more lives on Facebook um, or also on my Twitch, both of which are linked on my um, about page for my channel. And so you go follow those and you know, you might see me on live. For example, this morning I did my makeup on a Facebook live. I basically, they got this update this morning because it was the rough draft. Um, and I wanted to be able to make notes about what I wanted to do, which is my little notebook here. Um, I kind of stopped following it. I'm just kind of going off on like little tangents. Um, but I wanted to make sure that I got at least my main points touched, which is I want to do more lifestyle. I want to do, um, I want to include my husband a little bit more on my channel. Um, I want to do more product tryouts, which I think is like on the lifestyle side of things. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, and I'm going to get back into the swing with my makeup because there were days in this last month that I haven't even worn makeup. I'm not even joking. Um, there are days that I didn't even get out of bed because I felt that bad. And there are days that I got out of bed and I was just doing so much around the house with the spring cleaning and organizing and puppy prep that I just saw no point putting makeup on. Um, and then there are days like today when I did this. And so it all kind of varies. Um, I do want to get myself another scheduled out a good bit. And so guys, if you comment on a video and I don't address it in the next video immediately, please remember that is because I scheduled my videos out. So have a little patience with me there. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's everything with the exception of the final thing I want to touch on and the final thing I want to talk about. And it's a bit of a disclaimer, you guys. Um, the final thing I want to touch on is like a product disclaimer, company disclaimer thing. Um, yes, I do this for you guys and I want to do this to bring you guys joy and like help you guys figure, you know, if you're looking for help on how to do a makeup look or, you know, if you're just curious about a product or things like that, or maybe you just want to listen to someone drone on the background. That's what I do that for. But this is also a little bit of something I do for me. I do it for fun. Um, and weirdly enough, it helps me to relax. It gives me something to do, kind of make me giggle. And it reminds me that there's, I say it at the end of every video, be kind to everyone else, be kind to yourself and be the change you want to see in the world. And even if I'm only changing by making, you know, one person smile a video, that for me feels good. Um, but I would love to, and am trying to be ambassadors for some brands. Um, and I think like that is one of my goals. I think it would be amazing. Um, for example, Mikey from Glam and Gore, she's on a ton of PR lists. That is so cool. I think that is the coolest thing in the world. Or like Glitter and Laser, she works with Torrid, you guys. Torrid is one of my absolute favorite stores right next to Lane Bryant because they, they are size inclusive and I love it. Um, or like, um, Pretty Pastel Please, she works with Shein. That is the coolest thing. And like, I don't think it's cool because they get free stuff. I think it's cool because with them working with these companies, they are able to get product, use product. And you are actually like, yes, it's through a camera, but you're able to see like someone actually reacting to the product. So 
So like for a pretty pastel please, she will like look at the fabric and look at the stitching and look at all of these things and let you guys know how she feels about the product. Is it a good product? Is it a bad product? Was it worth the money? Was it not? Things like that. Um, and for me, that is so much more helpful than reading a review. Because yes, you can read a review, but for me, I, I'm a visual person. Um, and so for me to be able to like see how something hangs on her, and yes, it's going to hang on every diff every body type differently, but like to see how like the fabric is, like if it's a see-through fabric versus a not see-through fabric, or, um, you know, if the length matches what the picture looks like, or if the product itself matches the picture, that for me is amazing and so helpful. And I would love to be able to do that for you guys. And, you know, eventually I hope to be able to do that for you guys. Um, as well as I'm trying to get my life into a better place. So like I said this morning, I got up at 7.30. I said goodnight to my husband because he works nights. And then I went for a walk. And then I got on and did my life. I'm working on exercising every day. Um, and so that's another part of the lifestyle. And I want to be able to kind of update you guys on how my life is going. So like if, you know, it's been a while and you haven't heard from me, please feel free to like, you may, you know, comment me or, you know, like shoot me a message on Instagram and be like, hey, how is, how, how is this going? We haven't heard of anything about this in a while, you know? Are there any updates? Is there anything new? Things like that. Please feel free to like shoot me that message. Um, but in regards to like all of this, whether it's, you know, lifestyle related or clothing related, like, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the swimsuits from uh, that I purchased from Walmart that I want to be try out as soon as the storms kind of let up. Any of that, anytime a product is related, and I do mention this, I put this disclaimer in most of my videos, I want to be 100% transparent with you guys. Um, and so like if I buy something myself, I'm going to tell you I bought it myself. If I get, you know, money off of it, I'm going to tell you guys if, you know, if I use a link that I'm going to get a commission from or something like that. or like if something was gifted to me or PR'd to me, which as of right now, that's not happening. But I mean, it might happen in the future. It would be super awesome if it happened in the future. Um, you know, things like that. But I want to be 100% transparent with you guys. And so for me, that means, you know, I put, for example, on my makeup videos, when I do a makeup look, I put a list in the description of all of the products I use. And then generally at the bottom of that list, I put, um, you know, whether or not I purchased the, the makeup with my own money or, you know, if it was gifted to me or what have, what have you. And that is something I will continue to do. If I don't say it in the video, it will be in the description. Um, things like that. Um, I am currently, I do have an application and I would like to be an ambassador with, um, I am working toward being an ambassador with the company. Um, I think it would be super awesome. I would love to do it. Um, I will update you guys on that as it goes. Um, but this disclaimer is specifically, I'm going to be blunt with you guys. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. If I like a product, if I recommend a product to you, it is because I have tried that product. I have used that product for more than like, you know, once or twice, um, with the exception of like the Dollar Tree stuff. Like if it's makeup and, you know, I've seen how it wears on my face, which is why, like, for example, with the Dollar Tree makeup, I put the makeup on and then I waited to do the review until I'd worn the makeup for at least a full day. Um, like today I tried a new lip product from NYX. I really loved how soft it was. I loved how it went on. It was a little bit weird to get used to. Um, it was the puffy lips, uh, the like the lip puff thing. Um, it's put away in my case right now and I don't want to make a bunch of noise to get it out, but I will show it to you in another one of my videos. I loved how soft it was. I loved the color payoff. It took next to no product to get color payoff. It wasn't sticky. It wasn't drying. I mean, granted it wore off quickly, so it's not a stay put one. Like it came off on straws and things like that. So it wasn't a stay put lip, but it was a gorgeous lip color. And it was a product that I will definitely use again. And so, like, if I tell you guys I like something, it's because I've tried it. It's because I've used it. It's because I would use it again. And if it's something, like, that was PR'd to me, if I tell you I like it, it's because it's something that I would buy with my own money um, if it hadn't been PR'd to me. If I don't like a product, I will tell you guys why I don't like the product. I'm not going to tell you guys or recommend something to you if I haven't tried it or if I don't like it. Um, I'm just not that kind of a person. I'm too blunt to do that. And to be perfectly honest, my face wouldn't let me. 
I have a very expressive face. So like if I don't like something, I can't tell you I like it with a smile on my face. It doesn't work that way. My face, like my husband's favorite thing to say to me is don't look at me in that tone of face because like I will be talking to him and if I'm angry at him, he can still see it on my face. And so I want you guys to know that like in the beginning, like for example, with my Profusion Cosmetic palettes, I bought most of those. I had two of them that were gifted to me. Um, like with my BH Cosmetics, I bought those for my wedding. And for me, it's just really hard to let makeup just sit there on a shelf. My makeup, my wedding was not that long ago, so they are still within their expiration date. For me, I'm not a fan of waste. So like I bought them for my wedding and so I'm going to use them because why buy something so pretty just to let it sit? I'm one of those people. Um, like the DIY nail kit, I used it and I made sure that I used one of the colors prior to giving you guys a review because I wanted to make sure I wore through a manicure completely before telling you guys what I thought about it. I have learned more since doing them. I still love the product. I will still continue to recommend the product. I think it's amazing. I want to get more colors, um, but I think it's amazing. It wears well. It feels nice. And if you can file it right, they come out looking really nice. I don't have anything on my nails right now um, because I just tried this. It uh, just takes sun nail polish or something like that. And it was really, really cool. It's a really cool thing. You put it on and you go out in the sun and it changes colors. And it was super, super cool. And let me know if you guys want to like see like a review on that. And I loved it. And it was super cool. And it went from like this silvery glitter to like this pink with glitter. But it peeled off in like a week. So I'm, st I'm unsure how I feel about that one. But like the whole point of this being, I'm not going to tell you how I feel about a product unless I've used the product. Now, if I'm, if I refuse to use the, pro if I refuse to like use a product or try a product, I will tell you why. If there is a brand that I don't like, I will tell you why. Um, and think anything like that. Like I'm, I'm not going to beat around the bush. Um, I am going to attempt to keep my language as clean as possible. I think I've been doing really, really well. Um, I don't always keep my language as clean as possible, but I'm trying. Sorry, my throat was getting a little harsh. Um, I am trying. <laughs> I will continue to try. Um, but so like, that's just kind of my, my little product disclaimer. I want to make sure you guys know like ahead of the time that I'm going to be as I'm going to be 100% clear with you guys. If I have an affiliate link, I'm going to tell you it's an affiliate link. If I get, you know, credit from a coupon code, I'm going to tell you I get credit from a coupon code. If, you know, product was gifted to me, I'm going to tell you product was gifted to me. If, uh, my brain just froze. If I get product in PR, which would be so awesome, I'm going to tell you. If I pay for a subscription to something, I'm going to tell you. Like, I used to have a subscription to Loot Crate. Well, I paid for a subscription for my husband to Loot Crate. We canceled the subscription because while the stuff in it is so cool, it sits on our house and gathers dust. And we're both allergic to dust. <laughs> and like, yes, I clean my house and I dust my house and things like that. But also we have a puppy coming. And so we don't want to be keep getting like tons and tons and tons of little knickknacks because we're running out of places to put little knickknacks. And so we would rather get like a box of something that's going to be useful. So like we've kind of been looking into getting her like one of the Kong boxes. We're not sure yet. Um, so if we do like a subscription service, I'll tell you what I think about the subscription service. Um, and things like that. But I just kind of like wanted to make sure that my disclaimer was out there that if I recommend something to you, it's because it's something I have used, I will use, or I will continue to use. Um, if I tell you I won't use it, I will tell you why. If I don't tell you why, please feel free to ask me and I will be forthcoming. Um, or if I tell you that I can't use something, I will explain why. I do have like a myriad of allergies. Most of them are food allergies, but like I'm allergic to shellfish and I'm allergic to like bees and a lot of other <laughs> really random stuff. And so like if I tell you there's something I can't use, I will tell you why I can't use it. Um... So please feel free to ask. If you ever have any question about anything I do, please ask me. Like, ask me in the comments below. Shoot me an Instagram message. Shoot me a Facebook message. All of my, all of my, um, uh, what are they called? Mm, uh, 
other accounts, social media. Thank you. All of my social medias are linked on my on my on my uh, YouTube channel as well as on my Facebook page as well as on my Instagram page. I keep my links there for you guys so that you can go find me. Um. Like, please feel free. If you have a question, shoot it to me. If you have like something that you think would be really neat to that you want to see tried, you know, let me know and I will, I will do my best. I'll talk to my husband about it and we'll see what we can do. Um, as I grow, my ability to test new products is going to grow with me. But like, that's just kind of my little disclaimer. Sorry, I kind of go off on a tangent when it comes to that because I feel like everybody should be that way, but the fact that I even have to put that disclaimer out there just because I've seen the issues that happen when people aren't honest, it, it just blows my mind. So I want to make sure I've got that disclaimer out there. I should have put that disclaimer out there sooner than this, but as um, <laughs> super exciting and kind of silly, my Facebook page got 10 followers. And, well, 11 followers and 10 likes. And so to me, that's super exciting. And so I feel like I'm actually getting somewhere. I have, I think, 13 followers on Instagram. And like nine followers on YouTube. And so like to me, I'm still a baby channel. And so I want to make sure I get this out there while I'm a baby channel to let you guys know I have every intention and have will be 100% honest with you guys if you have a question about how I do something or why I do something or why I work with a product or why I don't work with a product, please ask. I will tell you. Um, I will happily tell you. And so now that I've kind of got that out of my system, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, share my stuff with your friends. We can all have fun and randomness together. Um, if you know anything about ring lights, comment down below uh, because I, I am in the market for one because I, I know that they do wonders when it comes to like makeup videos and blogs and stuff. I just don't know enough about them. I'm researching, but we're getting there. I'm getting off track. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thanks for coming and chatting with me. Thanks for dealing with my like rabbit hole tangents. Um, I will see you guys soon. Um, I don't know what I'm putting up Wednesday just yet, but I'll see you then. Uh, go ahead and check my Instagram. I'll see you there tomorrow. Oh, I have the hiccups. <laughs> I think I'm going to go handle my hiccups. Um, thanks for hanging out with me. Have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed the video or at least a little bit of a life update. Um, I'll try and update you more about how the updates are going to go. So thanks for hanging out. Um, share with your friends if you want to hang out with them too. Uh, my brain just froze. <laughs> and since my brain keeps freezing, I think it's a go ahead and time for me to shut this down, end it for the night. So thanks for being here. Thanks for chatting with me. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a little bit of something about what's been going on with me. Um, as I say in all my videos, remember, be kind to one another, be kind to yourself, be the change you want to see in the world, and especially, like, right about now, a smile is infectious. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.